On today's episode of the Jamaican Cooking Journey, I'll be sharing with you a very simple little meatless dish. But let me pause right here to say special thanks to my patrons that have been making my page possible. If you would like to be a part of my Patreon family, click on the link in the description and show your girls some love. Post notification shoutout skills are right up there. So on today's video, we had a few people from time to time coming along say they want me to share with them dishes that are meatless. So today I am going to be doing this, but we'll be doing it like pre the pre way, the easiest way or the easier way, so to speak. I've been making a little black beans in coconut stew. Um, we could do this like from scratch by getting our coconut milk pre-prepared and getting our black beans cooked. But we have them in the tin and I know you all, wherever you are, you prefer this method. So I'm going to be sharing it with you. What I like to do, I've never done this before though. I've been introduced to it and I, my daughter told me that, hey, mom, black beans are very nice and all of that. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing it my little way. Okay, I'm going to be putting my little touch to it. Got here some water coming to a boil. I've got here a little skillet. I'm going to pre-eat my skillet. And as it gets eaten, I'm going to be adding a little butter. So, my little condiments here are half of a medium onion chopped, um, one stalk of celery, a small scotch bonnet pepper, two pegs of garlic. I really love garlic. A few little sprigs of fresh, fresh thyme, a little piece of ginger, and that will aid with the coconut milk. Onions and the celery in. And my butter is eating. You could use probably a little oil of chives, but I want to use butter because I'm trying to get a little flavor. So this is what is happening with my little celery and my little onions, okay? And I like medium heat and I'm gonna be coming to stir it around every now and then until it comes to, you know, a little softish like texture. This is my canned black beans and I want to drain it. I was thinking the, the, the sauce is really thick and rich. I guess this will help him, but I'm draining it. I wanted to rinse it, but Kobo was saying, Mom, Mom, don't rinse it. I had um, hot water on, but I think I want to give it a rinse. But it is mushed, so me and I go by rinse it. So drain some. And, oh, this is looking nice. I think I like this. I'll do one from scratch for you, like cooking the soaking the black beans and, you know, I'll put a different twist to that one too. And some of you may be quite familiar with this. This is looking good. Yeah, I think so. And some of you may be quite familiar. I'm just putting my little touch to this. At this point, I will add my garlic and I'm going to be adding it in the grated form. I like garlic, so I'm using two pegs, two really big size really big pegs of garlic i really like garlic and the amount of garlic it really depends on the individual mm? depends on you wow my little jamaican touch my chopped finely chopped scotch bonnet pepper right now mixing them in i didn't add the garlic at the beginning because i don't want it getting burned all of that and this is looking so beautiful already remember i add celery celery and chopped onions a little piece of ginger, maybe just like uh, like this of my thumb, of your finger, like one, you know, not want to it with the ginger. Mm, nice, you see this ginger, how yellow it is? Try to get good, ripe ginger. Don't get the big fat workless one then, that has no color, that has no flavor. Select good ginger. Mm. I'm gonna give it a few spin around. Eat under there is really low. And you see these are coming together. Really beautiful. For me now, I think I want to add this black bean mix, which I seem like I something that I'm gonna like very much. I'm gonna be putting it in there, mixing it around. Gonna get my flame up a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think I honestly like this farm, and I'm honestly gonna get me some black beans. And I'm going to do it from scratch and I'm going to put a different twist, twist 
to eat for you but you can comment below tell me if you have ever had black beans what you have it with how was it and all of that so let's get our flame up right up right now so this is what is happening so i'm gonna be giving it a small amount of mash not a lot some people might want to mash it because it's probably you know it's cooked already but i don't think i want to mash it too much i'm just gonna give it a little bit not too much of a mash i want to taste some of my old beans let's add half of a can of this coconut milk and you see how it has transformed it and how it has is looking wow can i tell you i think coconut cream would be even better with this you see how creamy it is look at that family this is the creaminess we want to let it stay there and cook up a little bit just a little bit on a very low heat let the coconut milk i'd say i would give the coconut milk about on the lowest heat about seven minutes seven to eight minutes i'm gonna let it start bubbling i'll add some little, a little salt i might i think it may want i'm not sure but i'm gonna let it stay there and come to a slow boil on the reducing farm coconut milk has been properly cooked we're gonna turn it right off right now and you can see how it looks so beautiful cover it up and let the flavors come together and let it cool down a bit in the next clip I'll just bowl up some just for you so it has cooled down and come together somewhat cooking fam and I want to show you what it looks like look at this you can have this over some mashed potatoes over a bit of rice whatever you choose your um, what's that thing called your what's that thing cabbage no cabbage but your um staple of choice eh? look at this wow this is so i just want them to see as i plate it up or as i bowl it up for them this is so nice you can add your touch to it this is the most beautiful thing i have ever seen let me tell you from my kitchen to yours from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your palate, and most of all to your stomach, it is this simple black bean stew in coconut milk. Please do enjoy. Now, if you have liked this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. This is my first time trying black bean stew. What I have gathered from it, you see this was pre-done, the coconut milk was pre-packaged, and this is for you. You come home from work and you just want something easy, you grab the can one and you can just put it with your staple of choice and, and I love that. I want to take this from scratch, from the beginning. I want to put some meat, some farmer meat protein type to it. I'm going to go in search of some beautiful black beans, do it from scratch and I'm going to be giving you that video very soon. Thanks for loving, thanks for the support. Let me tell you, let me tell you there is I, I i honestly i cannot say i'm just salivating right now because i want to go have this with some steamed cabbage as i'm trying to pull away from white rice and i just want to get and to bring it to you from scratch it's beautiful this a, a lot of people has told me about this and have told me about it so let me tell you I think it's good if you have tried it if you are into beans I honestly you know I love beans and peas I am into them you know so a lot of you are familiar with it so you can just have this you can tell me oh you do your own share with me but look out for that version from scratch I'll twist it I'll put my Jamaican thing to it 